Angels, it's Mark Lombard uh, with another short video about tips for appreciating art, how to celebrate the art experience. And this tip is to make sure you see everything there is to see in the painting. Count. So that's the tip. Count to make sure you see everything there is to see in the painting. So here we have a, a beautiful, beautiful work of art. I think it's very beautiful. Uh, from our friends, the Eamon Carter Museum of American Art, which is where this project was forged. This project actually came out of a conversation between an art educator there, Catherine Maloney, and myself. And she really got our project and, you know, bringing art to people at the grassroots was so important, not just to the Eamon Carter, but to herself personally, that she invested a lot of her time in coaching us and providing valuable support. In, uh, in making us grow to the to the organization we are today. And we sure do appreciate it. Catherine Maloney, thank you very much. Uh, let us take our tip into account here and let's look at what we're, let's discuss what we're seeing here. So this is called Wrapped Oranges by William J. McCloskey, 1889. So I guess when Renoir and Monet were over there doing their thing in France, this fellow is here in the United States. Uh, doing this incredible work here. We could go a lot. So I'm, I am like paying attention to this and I am astonished. I'm absolutely astonished. I'm looking at these wrapped oranges. I'm looking at the cellophane that wraps them. So the cellophane looks so real. You can see the jagged edges here. Can you see that? How did he do that? How did this artist do that? So that's like one great thing to be astonished by and, you know, to ask your audience, how do you think he did that for Pete's sake? Another thing is the beauty of the orange against the blue. We talked about complementary colors. Blue and orange are complementary colors. This is like pow. This is like really strikingly beautiful. To me, I'm amazed. So we have the orange against the blue. We have the cellophane here. We have the, the reflections of the oranges on the shiny table. Again, I ask, how the heck did he do that? It is amazing. You can see the varnish, how highly polished this is. Uh, very often when seniors see this, they, it brings back memories of Christmas when they were little. And that's all they get. You know, they would get a wrapped orange as a Christmas present, and they were very happy with getting a wrapped orange for a Christmas present. You know, it's really, it's, it's an extraordinary thing. But uh, let's look at our tip. Our tip is to make sure you see everything there is to see in a painting is to count. So this is easy enough. We could count the oranges here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Easy peasy. I don't think there are any hidden there. There might be, for some reason, this is elevated. I don't know, and I don't want to, you know, invent things that aren't really there. But uh, that's today's tip. Keep it simple. K-I-S-S. -S, keep it simple, sweetheart. Uh, there are six oranges here, and we are pretty certain that we've seen everything there is to see in this painting. That's all for today. Thank you for your participation in this project. Let's go rock'em.